Good morning, students. Hope you all are doing well. Today I would like to start the same unit, unit 18 graphs. We have already discussed about uh, how to find gradient. Okay, so today we will be continuing the same unit. Okay, so in this unit we will be discussing about gradient from the equation. We can start now. Okay, equation of a straight line. Equation of a straight line R in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. M and c are the numbers. Okay, x and y are the variables. Then again, m is a gradient. M is the gradient of the line, and c is the y-intercept. Okay, so always we can write the equation of a straight line is equal to y equal to mx plus c. From this m is a gradient and c is we call y-intercept. Okay, so we can see in the little more ex expanded form y is equal to mx plus c, m is a gradient and c is the y-intercept. Equation of the line y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, we have to find the gradient and y-intercept from the equation. So, this is our equation. y is equal to minus 2x plus 5. This is, is a form of y equal to mx plus c. Okay, m means the number and c means the number. Okay, so from we have to find the gradient. Gradient means minus 2 m the x the number with the x that is called gradient okay so m is equal to minus 2 and what is the constant here c that is y intercept c is a constant and c is equal to 5 this is the way we have to write our answer this is very simple easy uh, topic just to write the uh, value of coefficient of x and c value. Okay. Identify gradient and y intercept from the equation. So, this is our equation y is equal to 3x plus 5. What is the gradient? The uh, coefficient of a x. So, which is the number standing near to x? 3. Okay. So, that is the gradient. Gradient is equal to 3. Then, what is y intercept? That is c. That is equal to 5. 5 is the y intercept. You understand? It is very simple and easy topic. y is equal to mx plus c or b. Any number we can write. There is no problem. Some books they are written the mx plus c and some other places they are at mx. y is equal to mx plus b. Both are same. The last term is y intercept. The, num, uh, the value with the x is called slope or gradient. Okay, so here m is the slope and y is the intercept. We have an one example here, 3x minus 5. So what is the slope here? It is 3. And what is the y intercept? It's 5. Slope means gradient. Last lesson we already discussed about what is the meaning of a gradient and we can say gradient is and the form is slope of a line. Okay, so m is equal to 3 and c is equal to minus 5. C. Some equations are not in the form of y equal to mx plus c. Then how we can find it? So that is we have to discuss here the second section. Rearrange the following equation into the form of y equal to mx plus c and hence they state the gradient and y in intercept with the y axis. Okay, the first step is easy. Just write the uh, coefficient of x and c value. Now, some examples, some equations are not in the form of y equal to mx plus c. Here, you have to write little more steps, then you can find uh, y and sorry, m gradient and c. First of all, you have to rearrange the equation according to y. That's why y equal to take the 3x 
okay take the 3x and change into shifted into opposite side of the equation so okay so positive 3x become minus 3x already minus 6 is there so you can write minus 6 we not change anything about the number we take x we place the x from one side to another side because we need y alone in one side our equation is y equals no number nothing is with y we we need y alone that's why we have to remove the 3x into opposite side and 3x is positive here so when you change into opposite side it become minus 3x okay now our equation is y equal to minus 3x minus 6 now we got the same equation in the form of y equal to mx plus c what is m minus 3 what is c minus x clear so this section we need one or two steps more to get the equation from the equation we have to write m and c okay so we'll go for another example x plus y equal to 7 take the y only one side remove the x into another side so y is equal to minus x plus 7 7 we are not changing 7 because uh, it is a positive number we are changing only the x x take the x shifted one x to another side it's become minus okay so what is the value with the x it's an 1 okay so m is equal to minus 1 you can't see any number with the x value that means the coefficient of x is equal to 1 and c is equal to 7 okay so next example number c 2x plus y equal to 4 here also you have to take the y one side and remove the 2x into another side okay so you will get minus 2x plus 4 okay m what is m minus 2 and c it's 4 one example okay 2x plus 2y is equal to 6 you have to arrange 2y is equal to minus 2x plus 6 okay so look at the y we rearrange okay so we got y terms but y is not alone now the 2 is with the y remove the 2 that means you have to cancel the 2 by dividing by 2 all the 3 terms we have here 3 terms 2y minus 2x and 3 we have here 3 terms Okay, so we have here 2y, 2x, minus 2x, plus 6. This is the three terms. So divide the whole number by 2. You will get y equal to x plus 3. That means we are dividing by 2 because we have to remove the 2 with the y. Why we select 2? Because... The 2 is near to the y value. We have to remove the 2 because we need an equation like that. y equal to mx plus e. y alone. So it is compulsory to remove the 2. That's why we are dividing. Okay. So here we got m is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to 3. Why m is equal to minus 1? We have here x is equal to minus, sorry, uh, y, um, y is equal to minus x. Minus x means minus 1 into x. Minus 1 is the, it is invisible but what the number, no number means you can write 1. The coefficient of x is equal to 1. Okay, so we will discuss some more examples same like this pattern. Rearrange into the form of y is equal to mx plus c. We have the equation minus 2x minus y equal to 7. We rearrange. Okay, 
So y equal to minus 2x plus 7. We take the y and we move into another side. Again, we need y. We move the 2y into the another side. y is equal to 2x plus 7. Ready? Ah, okay. So now n is equal to 2 and c is equal to 7. So, we have to again x one more example. 4x plus 3y is equal to 18. Rearrange with the y terms. So, 3y equal to minus 4x plus 18. Yeah. Here, we have the coefficient of y is equal to 3. We have to remove the 3 because we need the equation y equal to mx plus c. y alone. We need y alone. So, we have to remove divided by 3. When we divide by 3, so you will get y equal to minus 4 by 3x and 18 by 3. 18 divided by 3, that is 6. Yeah. What we done here? We remove the 3 divided by 3. Okay. So, 4 by 3, not possible to change into the whole number. So, please write like that. No need to write in the decimal form. Okay. So, 3y is equal to minus 4x plus 18. y is equal to, we have to divide each term. We have two terms are there in the right side. We have to divide 4x divided by 3 plus 18 divided by 3. 18 divided by 3 is? 6. That's why we are at 6. Okay. So, what is m? m is equal to minus 4 by 3. No problem. It is a fraction. It is not compulsory to become always a whole number. Maybe it is a fraction. And c is equal to 6. So, we have here last example. x plus y is equal to 4. y is equal to Minus x plus 4, which is a direct question. You can write m is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to 4. Okay, you can see here the direct question 2x, 2y plus x is equal to 4. This is our equation. We have to rearrange y is equal to mx plus c by arranging 2y equal to minus x plus 4. Then y is equal to minus x plus 4 divided by 2. We have to remove the 2 because we need y alone. Remove the 2 divided by 2. So your answer become 1 by 2x. So x by 2. x by 2 means 1 by 2x plus 4 by 2. 4 by 2 means 2. So m, uh, m is equal to minus 1 by 2 and c is equal to 2. Okay, so before leaving, we have to say the summary again, how we can rearrange. If we have an uh, equation, y is equal to mx plus b, so you can write the gradient is, slope is m. And y intercept is equal to the number, the constant. Okay, if it is not in the form, you have to rearrange. Make y as a subject. That means y equal to 2x plus 6. y is equal to 7x plus 3. Something like that. Okay. Then write in the form of y equal to mx plus c. If we have any number, divide. Okay. Then m is equal to the gradient and c is the constant. Hope you all understand this topic. This is a gradient from the equation. We have to find two methods. First one is direct. Second one is just rearrange in the form of y equal to mx plus c. And then find the gradient and intercept. Okay. So, okay. So, you will get worksheets on Google Classroom. Please solve it and then send it. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Bye.